those intense wildfires, blood orange skies, snow in September, even people who've been ringing that climate alarm bell are stunned by what they are seeing this week. New at 6, KPIX 5's Wilson Walker on the climate scientists who say this is just a little taste of what's coming our way. It was a it was a wake up call even to those of us who have thought about climate change and worried about climate change and and the impacts of of fires and sea level rise and changes in water availability for decades. It was a shock to all of us. Dr. Peter Glick and I have been talking climate change for about 10 years now. That is five years of exceptional drought, one year of historic rainfall, and now four years of unprecedented fire. Now, what we have all seen over the past couple weeks and days may feel like an exclamation point to all of that. Glick says it is more like a comma. It's not that the fires have been caused by climate change. It's that what we're experiencing is increasingly influenced by climate change. And that's the message. We can no longer talk about these things without talking about the role that humans are playing in making these problems worse. And so I think really the news media needs to get off its collective duff immediately and understand that we're in an emergency and they need to represent it as such. Genevieve Gunther's end climate silence campaign went trending on the coattails of those amazing images. She just hopes that everyone who snapped a picture is also connecting the dots behind what they're seeing. You can just think of it as 2020. You've seen a lot of tweets like that, or at least I have, where people tweet the photographs of what San Francisco looked like yesterday and say, oh, 2020, could you get any worse? As if once we're in 2021, these kinds of disasters are gonna stop happening. It's not just 2020, it's the future. Is, is, has come to us. What we saw last night and the day before is just going to be our future, and it's an unlivable future. You know, Wilson, uh, it's, it's the question we may not answer in our lifetimes. Is this the Earth doing what it's doing, doing what it does naturally, or is this being caused by people? We can settle that at some future date. I'm wondering what these climate experts are watching for now. Well, I think a big one would be the next turn of the calendar. October 1st is the start of the California water year. And boy, could we certainly use a good water year right now, given the fire problems that we're faced with. But, you know, we've seen this sort of wild swing between extreme drought. We had a couple really wet years. We had another couple dry years sort of on the heels of that. So I think maybe that's the next thing to look for. We get to October 1st, we need to start seeing some rain. And if we don't by the end of 2020, I don't think 2021 is going to look much better for us. Yeah. And tough times we're in right now. Wilson Walker reporting live.